So the glycocalyx is a relatively new uh, idea or a relatively old idea that's becoming kind of rediscovered. And so the more we kind of learn about fluids, the more we learn that we don't know exactly what's happening. And so the glycocalyx is kind of this fuzzy layer that lines uh, our blood vessels. And it will, uh, it has a lot of different functions, but as far as fluid therapy goes, uh, we're thinking in different diseases that glycocalyx might be injured and that might change how fluids work. And so, you know, fluids like head of starch, vet starch, Starch. Ideally, they should you know, hang out in the vascular space and kind of pull fluid in and keep fluids there. Uh, but we're discovering you know, perhaps that uh, glycocalyx is being damaged and as a result, those fluids actually kind of leak out. And so in uh, diseases where uh, the glycocalyx could be damaged, uh, you know, things like colloids might not work as expected. Um, and so really, it's changing how we think about fluids, how we approach fluids, and um, you know, there's been uh, some good studies showing that if you give too much fluids, uh, that will damage the glycocalyx. And so uh, it really kind of makes us take pause and say, you know, should we bolus these fluids? Should we give this bolus over a slower period of time? Uh, all those are questions that I wish I had answers for, uh, but I think we're just, you know, uh, tip of the iceberg at this point.